After her delivery, doctors discover something shocking in her stomach. Giving birth to a child is one of the greatest rewards for a woman. Yet pregnancy is far from an easy and pleasant process. Indeed, during nine months, at any time something can go wrong and represent a danger for the future mother or for the baby. A pregnant woman is therefore extremely fragile and she must make sure to rest well and avoid anything that could be harmful for the baby. She has to, watch both what she does and what she eats and of course she has to avoid unnecessary stress. But it's all worth it since nothing is as beautiful as holding your own baby in your arms for the first time. When you lay your eyes on your newborn baby, you suddenly forget the nausea, fatigue, unbearable cramps, back pain and sleepless nights you suffered during pregnancy. But unfortunately, for too many women, this happy event is clouded by problems that cannot be controlled and that happen to the baby during childbirth or during pregnancy. Today we are going to see a woman who just after giving birth showed unusual activity inside her belly on examination. What the doctors found is amazing. Leanne Crowley, an English woman from the town of Kent, was extremely happy when she learned that she was pregnant. She had always dreamed of being a mother and this dream was finally coming true. During her pregnancy, Leanne prayed every day for an uncomplicated delivery, but unfortunately, fate decided otherwise. When her baby boy, Louis, emerged from his mother's womb, the doctors panicked. The baby had gray skin and seemed lifeless. He was immediately sent to the intensive care unit, where he was subjected to numerous medical examinations. The doctors discovered that the child had lost a lot of blood inside his mother's womb and he was, now having a hard time keeping himself alive. They had no choice but to put him in an artificial coma in order to protect his brain. He needed a considerable blood donation. Still, neither Leanne nor her baby had any intention of giving up so quickly. Gradually, Louis began to show signs of healing and soon he was healed and ready to go home. Leanne thought her worries were over, but a few days later she had the nasty surprise of starting to get sick too. She had a stomach ache and was bleeding. Leanne was forced to return to the hospital, where she was given tests. Doctors then established that the removal of Louis' placenta had caused severe bleeding in his mother. They operated on Leanne and she was ready to go home. But a few weeks later, Leanne began to bleed again. She then underwent a second operation and it was only then that a doctor saw what no one before him had noticed. In fact, Leanne had had a molar pregnancy. This means that during pregnancy, foreign cells entered her uterus and took the form of a non-viable embryo. In Leanne's case, this embryo had already reached the age of 12 weeks. During that time, he had drained Louis's nutrient stores, weakening the baby even before it was born. During the ultrasounds that were performed during the pregnancy, no one had ever seen the second embryo. The news was therefore a shock for everyone, but especially for Leanne. Not only did she have to bury a second child, who died before she knew him, but she also learned that she had a medical condition that could harm her health. And indeed just when the doctors thought that everything would go back to normal, she learned that she had developed cancer. This type of cancer happens in about 50% of women who have developed a molar pregnancy, but in Leanne's case it had already spread to her lungs. Leanne was then forced to have chemotherapy treatment and her road to recovery was as long as it was difficult and stressful. Today she no longer has cancer but her son Louis will have consequences all his life. Indeed these traumatic events have left traces on the health of the little boy, he has disability in his left leg but he is also deaf and his brain has also suffered damage. Leanne confided to their media that this experience had traumatized her and her family but she was so happy to have had Louis. Just for that, she relives it true again and again, 